Well, welcome back at Infusion. Uh, we are in the, the Hague, the Netherlands. The next fight is in the minus 67 kilogram division. Uh, fighting out of the blue corner from Spain, uh, Juan Javier Baraga! So, we move on, don't we? And this is at 67 kilo, 147 pounds. Welterweight in boxing. Now you're watching on Box Nation. Listen, who can't wait for next week? Lomachenko versus Rigando. I absolutely can't wait for that. And my pick is Lomachenko. I a late stoppage, there you go. I can't wait for that. I'm in Abu Dhabi anyway, so I'll be flying home to watch that fight with you all on Box Nation. So here we go then, Juan Javier Barragan. I've seen him fight before. 42 fights, 35 wins, seven losses, with 10 wins coming by way of knockout of 32. Years well, of age, we'll see. There he is, uh, Juan Javier Baraga. Well, then his opponent fighting out of the red corner from Morocco, Ismail Ben Ali. So making his way to the ring is the Prince, Ishmael Benali. A bit of Moroccan magic is sprinkled here on The Hague. He's at 35 fights, 32 wins, one loss, two draws, 12 KOs. And the doctor who does a fantastic job is Ishmael Benali's brother. The charming doctor who is a very, very nice man indeed. We'll see, very popular. It's Ishmael Benali. We'll see what his performance is like tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, also next week, next week on Infusion, there is limited tickets left for our show in Abu Dhabi. If you're coming or if you know anyone in Abu Dhabi, tell them to get the tickets from Ticketmaster very quickly. And also, we have a very special guest, Paul Cow. Formerly known as Paul Cow Paul from up, now known as Paul Cow Bamchamek will be a special guest amongst others. So, get yourself a ticket, take your seat, and I, what promises to be an absolute amazing cavalcade of KOs next week. So the crowd getting behind Ishmael Benali. All seems like they're all stood up and wishing him well. Trained by Moussid, who is a brilliant coach, originally from Boss. Moussid's got his own gym now and he trains the amazingly talented Denise Keel Holtz, who's one of my favourite ladies in the world. Absolute beauty. And actually, her name is now Denise. Gergis, married to Hester Gergis. So uh, I wouldn't mind to, don't be trying it on with her later, gentlemen, because uh, her husband's massive. And if he doesn't beat you up, she will. So there you go. So yeah, a fan favorite. I think this is his first fight back. He's been out for a while. So we'll see what Benali is like. He's a good fighter, this kid. We'll see. Spain. Uh, 42 fights on his record, 35 victories and 70 defeats. 10 of his winning fights by way of a knockout. Wow, I want to hear you for uh, Juan Javier Baragan! Baragan in the red and white. Well, his opponent in the red corner from Morocco. 35 fights, 32 victories, one defeat and two draws. 12 of his winning fights by way of knockout. He is the Prince, ladies and gentlemen, Ismael Ben Ali! Yeah. 
When his fight is scheduled, three rounds of three minutes. In case of a draw, we have one extra must win round. The referee is Mr. Hassan Aid Masu, and his fight is sponsored by superprosamui.com. Hassan A. Basu then. Good fighter in his day, Hassan. Beat some big names. Ashley Gishard from England. Stopped Ashley with low kicks and body shots. He was meant to fight Liam Harrison, but for some reason that didn't happen. So we'll see. Anyway, it's in the past. Juan Javier Barragan versus Ismail Benali. Ismail Benali, known as the Prince. Let's see if he's come for his crown, because the king of this division in our organization is Ilias Belaid. Let's see if Benali is good enough to we'll have an audacious challenge to a very, very special fighter indeed in the blade, Ilias. We'll see. Now, one. No feeling out process at all, just straight into it. Baragan not deterred at all, just coming forward. Nice knee up the middle, was it a cut there already? I think it was a cut. Nice seeing things. Moussi'd also trained the Jaguar Mossab Amrani as well. A good fight with Moussi in his day. Good move. He wasn't cut. I apologise for that. That was a nice left kick right across the body. No smiling at all from Benali, means business. Switches southpaw just to throw that left kick to the body. Get as much as he can in it. Again, throwing it heavy. Throw it to the arm or to the body and then they whip it up to the head. Goes in with punches, nice knee. Now again, knees to fire off quicker. Throw a left up to the head or something, just getting bundled into the clinch. Over the top, right hand misses. It's good moves, this. From Benali. Very eager to please, doesn't he, Benali? Going forward and just throwing his shots. Walks in with the knee there. He needs to work with the knee, and you find that a lot. He's bad again. He hasn't got a clue with the clinch. You see what happens with him. He just. Leans his head back and just holds on. Nice left kick. Starting to take its toll now. The left, right side of the body from the left kick. He's really starting to redden up for Badagan. When the end of the first round. Yeah, all finale that, wasn't it? Gets to his corner, he's getting slapped about. He's getting slapped about more in his corner than he is in the fight. It's funny, isn't it? Have you ever watched your corner sometimes and they get really vocal and then they go quiet and then, right, do this, do that, and then they just go, right, calm, and they calm the cells down. So that's what just happened anyway there. So there's the left kick. Later on in the round, it was starting to take its toe, wasn't it, on Barragan? And his left side of the body become really, really red. Benali using that southpaw stance just to whack that kick in. He hasn't got wise to that Baragan, has he? Second out. So in the, the corner, round. he's Mr. Van Dam's of Baragan and also Ishmael Lunt, who was a great fighter also. I've seen him fight on the circuit for a while, so 
what he's doing, he's still coaching obviously, and still involved in the sport, which is good. So we're going to round number two then. Gnarly had a big first round. Scoring with that left kick. Knee, left knee all the time. Right side knee to the head. Scoring all the time with that left kick. See, look what Barragan does, just pushes in, grabs around the back. And then... That was a nice knee. Now he's going for it. It looked to me like he was more bustled down. The crowd's going mad for this. He's looking at his corner, he's not getting up him. Not getting up. It's his own fault. He had, an, he had a conversation with himself there, didn't he? That was a good win. For Benali. You know, he, he came out with a load of shots, didn't he? Like a blitzkrieg of shots. Throwing the knees, the knees were doing the damage. The left kick softened it up, then the knee did the damage with the punches. And then Balagan didn't get up. He just, he had a conversation with himself and then he, it's all right jumping up at 10 and then, you know, looking disgruntled, but listen, needs to be quicker. Can he challenge Ilias Belain on that performance? Probably not, but somewhere on the line he's got to have a go. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, your applause for uh, Juan Javier Barragan and Ismael Ben Ali. You see the man getting well, the in, in the white fight. shirt. He's the man in the red you see corner. It on the camera in the moment. Ismael Ben Ali. He's his brother in the corner there, in the red corner is Dr. Ben Ali, who does a fabulous job for us here at Infusion. So yeah, a good performance there by Ishmael Benali and uh, Barragan just got caught in a whirlwind of shots and knees. That was just too much for the Spaniard to take. We'll see you very soon. Coming up, we'll have these fights after this break.